Why is George Janko famous? The only talent he has is looking like a young Saddam Hussein. Speaking of which, he has somehow conned thousands of Christians into buying his god-awful Jesus merch when he is clearly a member of an ISIS sleeper cell. Come on, watch this. And a lot of people keep taking that away. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Zoom in on that. Pause. Right there. Enhance. Look at this tattoo. Computer, translate. Aloha snack bar. Death to America. We will invade your country in the bungus of your white American women. Jihad. 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 It's worse than I thought. But it's not as bad as his outright lies about the Bobby Lee situation. Watch this. He started the episode putting his balls in my face. Listen, that's a, that's a traditional Chinese greeting. So let's just chalk that one up to a cultural misunderstanding. You see, men in the Middle East, where Jihad George is obviously from, they greet each other by kissing. Whereas in China, men rub their balls on each other's faces. When you think about it, it makes perfect sense. The Chinese invented tea, and then tea bags, and then tea bagging. I let that one go. Then every two seconds, he kept grabbing my dick. I Another cultural misunderstanding. Bobby Lee looked over at Jihad George sitting next to him, saw a lump between his legs, and was confused what that was. So he reached out and grabbed it out of curiosity. Again, Bobby Lee is Chinese. He has a clit-sized cock issued to him by the CCP. So it was just childlike curiosity, reaching out, grabbing and feeling whatever that thing was between Jihad George's legs. If you can't understand this, you're racist. And there is no place for racism in my sewer. I will simply not tolerate it. Also, before anyone says, oh, Bobby Lee is Korean. Yeah, last I checked, Korea was in China, dumbass. Anyways, guys, listen, I'm on a speed run to getting this channel deleted. So if you don't want to lose touch with the Sewer King, you got to follow me on Instagram. That way, when YouTube bans this channel, we can reconvene over there and start something new. Now back to the Bobby Lee situation. Jihad George is here talking about how mad he was over Bobby Lee grabbing him. But then he completely contradicts himself 20 minutes later. Watch this. And with any comedian, your reaction to those jokes from the beginning are what gave him the fire to keep doing it. And I wanted him because to keep doing it. I thought it was no, because you. Did you hear that? Did you hear what George said? You might have missed it because Mongo Mike was also talking. But I'm going to rewind this and just listen to what Jihad George said. Are what gave him the fire to keep doing it. And I wanted him because to keep doing it. I thought it no, was because fun. You and I wanted him to keep doing it. I thought it was funny. 20 minutes before this, he said he wanted to beat the brakes off of Bobby Lee. And now he's saying he wanted Bobby Lee to keep doing it. He thought it was funny. I don't trust this guy. And, and that's, not, that's not the end of the contradictions. This one's going to blow your mind. L listen to this. You know what my favorite part of all of this is? That I, and I'm, I mean this with all of my heart. I mean this. I get to still have you as a friend. I'm here. No, for real. And I mean that. And, and God willing, I get to have that with Logan. And, and maybe if Bobby answers a DM or like we Bobby, talk. Bob. He's been sliding into Bobby Lee's DMs. So first he was saying, oh, it was assault. Nobody stood up for me. I had to walk off the set. Then he says, I wanted Bobby to keep doing it. It was funny. And he's now DMing Bobby Lee. He is DMing Bobby Lee. Bobby, please come feel me up again, baby. Oh, it felt so good, Bobby. Let's suck each other. Wow, dude. His whole narrative is falling apart. He just needed an excuse to break off from Logan's podcast and start his own thing to make more money. And start his whole, oh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Christian grift. And you idiots are falling for it. Tell me something. Tell me something. Is this, is this befitting of a Christian? Watch this. <laughs> um, I appreciate you. <laughs> oh, does our good Christian boy have a little nose candy problem? He's just another LA influencer who happens to belong to ISIS. That's his only distinguishing feature that makes him different from the other influencers. But don't be fooled with his whole Christian shtick. And if that doesn't prove it, how about the companies he aligns himself with? Watch this. This video is sponsored by Manscaped. The video is sponsored by Manscaped. You know, 
that company that has commercials with a bunch of sluts saying, oh, I won't suck your balls unless they're smooth. Th does that company's values align with Christian values? Oh, I'm a hot chick. I won't rub my tongue up and down your nutsack unless it's shaved smooth. W would Jesus take a Manscaped ad sponsorship? Would he? Manscaped is a perverse company owned by the lizard people because they're jealous of us humans and our ability to grow hair. So they want us to shave it off. But that's not their number one agenda. The number one agenda that Manscaped is pushing is kitty diddling. Hear me out. Hear me out and it will all make sense. So back in the good old 80s, people had hair. These sex symbols of the time were people like Tom Selleck, David Lee Roth, Burt Reynolds, Kip Winger. They all had massive chest hair, abdominal hair even. And you best believe they were not shaving their nard sacks. The women at the time, they did not remove all the hair down there. So you young people won't know this, that it wasn't always like this, that it was acceptable, even attractive to have body hair. But the lizard people want to promote kitty diddling. They want to normalize kitty diddling. What don't kitties have? Body hair. So if we make the adults and their nether regions hairless like the children, well, hey, we're all just kids here having a good time. So somewhere maybe in the mid to late 90s, they pushed the whole women should remove everything down there to look like a newborn. They pushed it on women first because obviously you can't start with men. You can't start with men right out the gate. So we normalized it with women for, it was probably at least 20 years until they started pushing it on men. So we normalized it with the women and now, okay, men, your turn. You have to be completely hairless down there. So you look like an infant. That's how you normalize kitty diddling. Anyways, let's take a, let's take a quick break to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Manscaped. Do you want to make your nuts look like a child's? Do you want your girlfriend? to feel like she's sucking off a newborn. Head on over to manscaped.com and use code SHINYKIDBALLS for 10% off your order. The Manscaped ad isn't the worst part of this, this shot right here. Look at this. The, uh, the microphone is obscuring it, so maybe we gotta move forward a bit. Oh, yeah, back it up. Okay, you still might be missing it. So we're gonna use the most advanced video technology available to mankind so you can see what I'm seeing, but we'll also need the hand of truth. What is this? What is this under the saying church boy? Church boy? And then ISIS writing? Computer, translate. Aloha snack bar. Thank you for funding ISIS, you naive white devils. Jihad. 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 I knew it. And you fools have been buying this. Let's go to his merch site. Let's go to his merch site. Jesus. You know what's worse than uh, this funding ISIS is how ugly this merch is. Pray for your friends. And it's all so fake. By the way, guys, I'm not trashing Jesus merch or Christianity. I'm trashing his grift. And how lazy this merch is. God, I would love to know how much money his merch has made. It's in, it's got, is it in the, is it in the millions? It's insane how easy it is to rob people of their money these days. Mongoloids and their money are soon parted. It's just so lazy. This is a Fiverr design. And it's also BS. Pray for your friends. And yet he just trashes Logan. He's been trashing Logan ever since departing impulsive. Trashes Logan on this two and a half hour podcast. But pray for your friends. Pray for your friends. It's fake. And it's ugly. Someone needs to come out with some cool looking merch. The people need it. $30 for this lazy hat. I'm not saying 30 bucks is too expensive for a hat. I'm saying it's too expensive for this hat. Oh, and we got another saying down here. We got another ISIS saying. Computer, translate. Aloha snack bar. There is a bomb in this ugly hat and it will blow your American head off, you white piece of shit. I've heard enough. I've heard enough. 
What's worse than all of this is this comment she had George makes about his beard. Listen to this. Or maybe you have a nice beard. You're trying to look like George Janko out here. Yeah. George Janko thinks he has a nice beard. How is this a nice beard? This is textbook ISIS ungroomed beard. Yeah, guys, buy Manscaped so you can look like this. And I bet you his balls look like that too. He, he's just taking that Manscaped money. He ain't using it. Because shaving your balls is hot off. Okay. He would get kicked out of ISIS for shaving his nuts. He's a con man. And, and it's, it's right in his name. George? George. You want me to believe this guy's birth name is George. Does this look like a George to you? I bet his name is something like Bupinder. Bupinder Saddam Hussein. In fact, I would bet all of Logan Paul's money that that is his name. Speaking of money, apparently he's got a rich dad funding his terrorist activities. Listen to this. He says, I won't pay you a dime. You're here because of me. And then I said, well, what do you want me to do for my bills, bro? I got no money. And he says, go have your rich dad pay for it. Listen, that's we, fighting everybody. Words, bro. Look at me. No, that's but, no, fighting but you, words, bro. You, you don't bring you up say, somebody's father. Would you say bro. that the way that you handled it from a word standpoint was was mature, acceptable? What did I say? That I beat the f***ing brakes off of him? Correct. If he was in front of me, I would have swung at him. But that. Yeah. And if you would have swung at Logan Paul, you would have woken up in the hospital with your jaw wired shut. Now, it might be shocking to you to hear me say that. Every single video I've made on this channel is trashing Logan Paul. But let's be serious here. What is this guy? Five foot eight? He's a chubby five foot eight guy. Logan Paul, say what you will about him. Six foot two, jacked on steroids. His boxing sucks, but he's done a whole lot more boxing than this clown has. He's very athletic. And this guy's acting like, yeah, if he was standing in front of me, I would have swung at him. Sure you would have, pal. That, that's, that's why you let Bobby Lee jack you off for two hours. And you didn't do anything. He kept complaining, you guys didn't do anything. You and Logan didn't do anything. You let another man jerk you off in front of literally millions of people. But you want to act like you're going to knock out Logan Paul. Okay, buddy. And you know what? That makes him a whore. The fact that he let Bobby Lee keep doing it. He said he wanted to beat the brakes off of Bobby Lee for doing that, but he didn't because I would have gotten fired. Okay, so then you're a whore. You're, you're picking money over stopping a guy from jerking you off. Like Terry Crews when he was at that Hollywood party and some producer came up to him and grabbed his junk and squeezed it and Terry Crews did nothing. You're whores. Now, I'm not saying you should beat up Bobby Lee in that situation. I'm just saying, don't act like you're a tough guy while letting another guy Caress your cack. Now listen to what this wonderful Christian does when he sends text messages. I'm, I, I, the one thing I am a little bit upset about was the text that you sent back to me. That's it. I told you you're a piece of shit. Everyone Evil. knows it. Yes. You need to. Get, but dude, I meant every word of it. That <laughs> that's his justification. I meant every word of it. Oh, that's totally Christian. That's that's totally turning the other cheek, isn't it? And you guys are falling for this con. You know, early in this podcast, he said. And God spoke to me. And God told me, do this. And God told me, do that. God is not talking to you. If you think God is talking to you, you have schizophrenia. You're not Jesus. God is not talking to you. He is, Jihad George is a false prophet. Jesus was not selling merch. Overpriced merch. Lazy overpriced merch, you guys. Jesus wasn't doing manscaped ads. This is not a follower of Jesus. This is a member of ISIS. He is funding ISIS. And you idiots are funding ISIS. I really can't believe he pulled this one over on everybody. As stupid as I think the vast majority of planet Earth is, stuff like this just, it blows my mind and it saddens me. Just how bad the situation is. Especially when you have all these people saying, Oh my God, George is the best. Screw Logan Paul. Oh, we side with George. You realize this guy was Logan Paul's best friend for several years. You realize this guy was on Logan Paul's podcast as a co-host for several years. He only broke off from that 
supposedly because of the Bobby Lee situation, but to go on and create his own thing and make way more money. My point is, birds of a feather flock together. You're talking about one of Logan Paul's right-hand men, along with Mongo Mike here. Logan Paul's right-hand man leaves Logan Paul's podcast to start his own, and all of a sudden, George is the best. We hate Logan. So if Hitler had a best buddy for a decade, his right-hand man, Hitler's right-hand man, has a falling out with Hitler and starts his own thing, that guy, oh, that guy's the best. Hitler's a bad man. Well, what would you guys think of me if I was Logan Paul's co-host? Are you guys dumb? Are you guys mongoloids? Would you say you happen to be retarded? I mean, this is the type of stuff that just, that keeps me in, a, in the sewer. I don't want to go, I don't want to go up there. I don't want to go up to the surface. I don't want to be amongst you streetwalkers. Staying down here with my 30,000 rats, and I ain't going up there other than to get groceries. Because the people up there, the streetwalkers, are stupid. And they have destroyed society when your idols are guys like Jihad George. Everything he says is a lie. Like, for example, listen to this. Bell isn't here. I wish she was. And there's, a, there's a new spot open for my co-host. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not just saying you should leave your job and come here. I'm just saying this show's doing pretty good for somebody that nobody watches. Look how smug he is. Talking about how good the show is doing. But is it? Let's ignore the views on this video. This one got a lot of views, but obviously it did. We got Logan Paul's co-host coming on here to discuss the Logan Paul drama. Obviously this one's going to do well. But let's look at let's look at just an average video. Here's the one here's the video right before the Mongo Mike episode. 122,000 views? That's been out 2 weeks. A 54-minute podcast. The one before that, 162,000 views? After 3 it's been up 3 weeks on a channel with 2.63 million subscribers and it only has 162,000 views and that's with RFK Jr. on it not a, not some nobody he landed RFK Jr. on a channel with 2.63 million subscribers and he only squeezed out 162,000 views that's doing really good he's his his normal videos are getting about, I don't know, three times the views of one of my videos. But I have a, about one one hundredth of his subscribers. He's got close to a hundred times more subscribers than I do. But, but he's only getting maybe three times the views I'm getting on one of his average vids. Your podcast is doing great? Are you sure about that? Now, I tell you, he's got a great management team. He's got a great management team because no sponsors would ever touch me at how small my channel is, right? So he's got his management team scoring deals with Manscaped, Celsius. God knows how many millions he's getting paid by sponsors in spite of getting 100,000 this, 100,000 that views. I guess sponsors are dumb. They just look at the subscribe amount and think that means something. They just look at, oh, this guy was Logan Paul's co-host. But the views are pathetic. But hey, man, good for you. You have a fantastic management team. Enjoy it while it lasts, buddy, because you're getting exposed. Oh, who am I kidding? Nobody even watches my channel. I'm screaming into the sewer. All right, guys. Um, speaking of exposing people. So we just exposed Jihad George down here in the sewer. But did you know? I also exposed Bradley Martin for his deep, dark, disgusting secret. I did. I did. Do you want to watch that video? Do you want to know what his deep, dark secret is? Lucky for you, you can find out right here, baby. See you next time.